Potter Weekly. This week, I uh, spent a whole lot more time doing research than I actually did did working in the studio, and um, I. I felt like, oh, I need to be making something, I need to be making something, but that wasn't the truth. I actually had to figure it all, get my, my head on straight before I started a project, because some of them require me to do uh, the ideas that I have for this coming up uh, show. I have to think out what I need to do, and I have, I have to have a list of things to do in, in order to do my clay work, bam, 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 one right after another. I'll explain it to you in a little more detail right now. It sounds random, but um, the, the show that I'm working on right now is called Speech Patterns. And it's going to be a gallery show from April to June at the Chartreuse Muse in Modesto, California. And um, what it is is I'm coming up with concepts that have to do with um, words and language. And I'm a talkaholic. And I actually have deeper thoughts than I share on on uh, video here. I This is my playtime and my fun time, so I usually don't get too deep. Uh, also, this week I, I worked on some of those. I didn't get a whole lot of them done. But in doing that, I had uh, this amazing brain burp when I woke up one morning and saw my exercise ball in the corner that had been sitting there for six months or more, never ever used. But uh, I, I got to use it this week in the studio and I have, after using it one time, now I have like all these other ideas going on in my head. So I've written those down for later future use. Um, also this week, I'm gonna be finishing up my, my project for, um, the Stanislaus Family Justice Center, the surfboard that I was making. Um, I'm going to create a separate video for that, but I'm just going to show show you. You know, I put the fed the wire through the back. It's already been fired, um, and then I'll do a separate video on that one because I really want to help promote that fundraiser for that event to help the abused children. So. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's what's going on this week in the studio. Not a whole lot of activity compared to the week before. I felt like I was just going, <laughs> but uh, still a great week. I feel it was a productive week, and I hope you guys enjoy watching the video. And here is my, here is my setup. Uh, my fluorescent light on the ceiling, my new rolling table, and uh, my gradient piece of paper that has been stored away for a very long time. I haven't brought it out. But anyway, uh, I am going to crop it. And I'm using my cell phone. So this is just so high tech. I'll show you what the pictures look like in just a second.
Um, I want positive statements, encouraging, happy, anything that makes you feel good, okay? And I'm going to make the words, going to put them just randomly spaced all around here, around the edge. Um, and it's going to be my uh, positive platter. I, I'm going to give it a different name, obviously. I have my list. Oh, excuse me just a second here. Here's a lot of printouts. I have a lot of printouts and drawings and vocabulary words and things like that that I'm going to just pick out words that go along with my theme. But I'm going to create little... Um, it's going to look like this. This is the concept behind it anyway. I really wanted to do more of this type of work. This is cup number 365 out of the the 365 day project I did three years ago. Four years ago? Three years ago. Four? Oh, something like that. So <laughs> anyway, this was the very last cup and um, I really love the way this looks and I haven't done too much like it since and I really wanted to start doing that again because that was something that really inspired me. But anyway, that's what the concept is of this bowl. I've already I've already trimmed a bottom and I've, I've made texturing on this side and I am going to, I call it, I'm going to color wash it. I want to do it in black and white, but when I'm, I, I won't know until I get that far, but that's the, the plan for this. Okay, one of the pieces that I am creating, it's, uh, it's going to be a wall-mounted uh, piece that's uh, different names of God. And I actually took the word God and made it, found out in different translations um, how it's written, even in, even in uh, Chinese, Hindi, Japanese, um, and the Korean, all of these uh, different languages. And actually, if you look over here, there's even Yiddish and Hebrew and Hebrew and Arabic. And I wanted to put these words on this plaque. You know, all around the world, people uh, go back I I into their hearts. They have the word God. So we're going to uh, put these all in here, and I want to make it look old. That's the, that's the goal. Right now, it's looking pretty old. Um, I'm hoping it cracks a little more in certain places. Some of them I was worried it was going to crack too much. Uh, but I have to still clean it up, and I'm not done because once I bisque this, I'm going to use the letter stamps and use my underglaze ink pad and um, put other words on here as well. So uh, imagine leather fed through here to hang it from so it'll look old. Uh, that's just kind of the concept. I, I'm excited about this piece. It's turning out like I want it to. Uh, anyway, just a little description of what I'm working on. Okay, if you notice on this side of the table, I have random shapes and forms. Uh, some are bowls, some are, are cups, uh, others are just vases and different items. Now what I wanted to do is, I haven't gone through them yet, I just laid out what I had, but I have right here part of the speech patterns project. I came up with different uh, concepts. This was my, my thought process here and I thought I'd share it with you. I have different things like rebus words and I thought if I had a cup or a bowl I could put a rebus word on it like this one is head it says head heels but it actually means head over heels uh, it says give get give get give get it's forgive and forget so I'm trying to put different word patterns and I grabbed even spoonerisms. I don't know if I'm going to use that one, but this one is a cup half full, and I may do something, whether I pick this actual pattern or not, but this is just to remind me when I'm sitting in front of a piece, uh, I can take that, like, uh, win, win with ease. So you put win and ee, get it? <laughs> it's just so funny. But anyway, <laughs> um, oxymorons. I love playing with words. I always have. So this is this is something I'm going to find enjoyable. If I do not have the pieces that I can use, uh, if if I don't really find any up here, I'm going to actually make some more. I still have I still have time. I have probably another week. I can make pieces to get into that gallery show before the first of April. But. Um, yeah, so that that's kind of part of where my thought process is going, as well as, dun dun dun, let me find that sheet. Hold on two seconds. I'm not even going to turn the camera off. I'm just going to keep flapping my trap. Um, this right here, it's 
Do you know what that? Do you know what a cuneiform is? It's almost. It's uh, back in Babylonian, Sumerian times. They had the, the earliest writings are written in a cuneiform. And I'm going to create a triangle, and I'm going to actually make a an artifact-looking piece that is written in cuneiform. And I'm going to have it with these letters, and then I'm also going to have. Um, have it translated in English underneath. And I thought that would be kind of cool. So anyway, be looking forward to that. I haven't made it yet, so that's coming next. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week. Next time, I'm going to share with you, well, my next video. It'll probably be midweek, but I'm going to share a separate video for, see this little art piece here? Hector 7. It says, I do not have a real friend. And um, I'm going to share my Stanislaus Family Justice Center Art Restores Kids project, how I made it, how it turned out. And uh, actually, I have to turn it in on the 16th. And then I believe on the 20, 26th? Yes, the 26th. Uh, they're going to have a silent auction and a fundraiser event. And this is my piece. It could be a tray, and you can hang it on a wall. And I will show you in one video how it was all made, and uh, yeah, my thoughts behind the piece. So, hope you guys enjoyed this time. We will see you next week on Hobby Potter Weekly.